Well, 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 would you look- oh, wait a minute. That's not how it works. Okay. For me, it's 420 right now, so it's pretty- it's pretty lit time. Okay, but um, so, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get out of the map on two different areas in the map Favela. And um, personally, Favela is my favorite map, so I really, uh, I really like this. Now, my trusty helper in the video is a person with the name of Cool Ice. I must recommend that you go watch his videos, because he does some pretty great glitches himself. But let his tomato into my video. So, first of all, you gotta be up here in this location and place your shield and try to vault up here. But uh, if you don't know how to get up into this location that I'm at, I'll have a tutorial in about a minute or so. But let's just... Explore the vast lands of hardly anywhere to go in this specific location. This one's not the cool place, but this one's a place that you can just get to. Sadly, you can't get any higher on this location. If you were inside of the map, you could, using that antenna that I was just looking at. But, um, actually, change of plans. I'm just going to show the clip right now. Ah. There. Okay, so as you see, I placed a shield there. If you didn't see, you're gonna see in a second. But you wanna come and climb up this ladder and sprint over this to vault. And once you vaulted, just run on the shield that I was placed. Come up here by looking for a vault and come around. But as you just saw from the first clip, this isn't what I'm trying to do for the out of map thing. Actually, from now, it gets a bit way more interesting. So, you wanna place your shield right here. And once you have done that, you want to just look for a vault here while you're waiting for your very gracious teammate to get over here. But um, So once they get over here, you're going to want them to sprint towards the center of the shield, and you're going to want to be on the left side of the shield while looking at the left side of the shield. And as you will see here in a second, it will eventually glitch me out. Didn't do that time, but I have a feeling for this next time because this was not staged. This was not planned. Ah, you see? Yeah, yeah, not staged there. So once you're out, you're free to do whatever you want, obviously, but it's better if you have two people out here because there's some cooler things out here that you could do with the second person. And you will see that in about a minute or two here. But um, as you can see, I'm trying to shoot down there to figure out if that's a solid object, and if you saw it reacted to the bullets, it is. Now if you see me shooting that, it's not reacting to the bullets, meaning it's not solid. Same with that building right there. And that building does react to bullets, so it is a solid object, but if you come around here, there's absolutely nothing for you to continue to. And you could try to go around the corner, but ah. Uh, I'm not entirely sure going around that corner would be too safe. That that one right there, I swear that one could have been solid, but um... Nope. Bullets don't react with it, so neither will your feet. So, once I finally decided to jump down... Yes, I jumped down here. And I just shoot down there because I suspect it may not be solid, and I figure out that it is solid once I take a jump leap of faith down here. Now, there is quite some great places you can go to while down here. I will not show that quite yet, but I will continue to show the other areas, like that window which you cannot get to. Or this direction which will kill you. Enemy Overwatch has this area covered, fall back. You have been oh, spotted by uh, hostiles. Fall back. Let's try that out again. Okay, yeah, it still kills you. But yes, let's get on to the better part of this. So once you come up here, you can sprint straight towards this. And vault over this and sprint onto that little lamp pole. This one, uh, I'm not able to reenact this, which is why it's better to have two people. Because this one was fairly hard for me to do a second time. Actually, I couldn't even get to do that a second time, but... but Having a second person up where I am is probably better if you place the shield right here where I'm standing. Because then you would be able to get up there and that would lead to me being able to get a better thumbnail. But no, I'm a failure. I can't get up there. 
Oh, so many good things I could have had, like such a good thumbnail. Oh, shaking my head, I should have just spent another hour trying to get that thumbnail. It would have been so good and so fun. I don't even know what it looks like to be up there yet. It looks like it could be fun. As, as, as you can see, it looks like some objects down there may be solid. But who knows. I do not dare to drop down there without being dock. Oh yes, I forgot. You must be a two speed to do this. And if you want to do it as a one speed, then you're going to need a total of three shields. Unless you um have the one speed go first. But I did not sure how to do that. I just hope you guys can do some basic problem solving stuff. Oh, whoa, I almost fell down there. But um, yes, that will be it for this video. And I've got to say... This is, um, pretty amazing. Like, see? Isn't that amazing falling to your death? But, um, yes, drop a like or a dislike based on what you thought of all these amazing out-of-map spots that I've just uploaded in this single video. It's only two spots, but still, show some mercy, please. So, farewell.